creative talents and their editing. I'm not going to take that from them. But it was a grassroots thing. But as it got bigger and bigger, those times were forgotten. And everything became more about the money, the money, the competition, the money, and who's bigger, and who's bigger. To be honest, like when, when it first started, it was like fun. Even if I wasn't in the videos, like I would like be behind the scenes and just like laughing or something. But like once once they moved to like the first house that they got, that's when it started to be just like all competition, all just like the blackmailing. She lives on a silent competition. She thinks the world is, is a competitive place. And it's always about being on top, but it's not. The world is about working together and everybody reaching higher places. And as long as you think that you have to be the only one on top, it's a lonely place. Because if you climb to the top of the mountain by yourself and you look at the view, you're going to think it's beautiful. But if you share it with someone else, it's a lot more beautiful. I think what... What happened is, without the girls, because they're so convinced that they made the girls famous, that they don't need the girls, but what's happened now is they realize without the girls, their views are going down. So they basically utilized Harry's channel to put out their, their version of what happened, which is very one-sided and borderline, very untrue. And they use that, and then they keep using Ailani's name in order to gain more views, because without Ailani, without Lomidia and Ray, their views are going down. And something else that I want to address as well. Ailani and I were not invited to the baby shower. Everybody else in the family was fitted with the attire. No, no, we were, and not only Ailani and I, Amari and Ariel were not fitted either. Distant cousins were fitted. Mm. Relatives who I've never seen were fitted. My children were not fitted, except for Olivia and Nerea. So this was sort of very painful. I was... I think the second person to know that Amanda was pregnant and I wasn't invited to the, the, the gender reveal, I was a large part of it. And to not be even invited to the baby shower, it was, and just like Amanda said in her video, you don't go where you're not invited. So we stayed home. And I cried that day, it hurt very, very bad. I want to tell you, yeah, I cried, I cried a lot. Really it was sad, it was. but it was okay. But then, Jimmy had a surprise party for Amanda. He picked up the girls, I went, I got them clothes, I'm like, are they okay for whatever video you're doing? He's like, yeah, we're just going to the house. The girls came back and they were like, oh, that was so fun, Jimmy just had the best surprise for Amanda. It was a party, all of her family is there. And I'm looking at Alani and she's looking at me and we're like, wow, Jimmy had a party for Amanda, all of her family was there. Everybody was invited, including her dad, Olivia, Nerea, the only people not invited again were Amari, Ariel, and of course Ailani and me. So to hear Amanda talk about she wasn't invited to Olivia's birthday party. Let's fast forward. This is after Harry's videos. This is after major cyberbullying. This is after Amanda and I haven't spoken in months. This was a last minute party in our backyard by the pool with like six adults and like ten kids. And it would have been very, very awkward for Amanda to come. Even Ray was only there, their dad was only there for maybe an hour. And it would have been incredibly awkward for Amanda to be there because who would she have spoken to? Because at this point, there's a lot of friction. And Jimmy showed up and Jimmy and I still speak, we're on decent terms. And I just said to him, and this was from, from you know, not even me, it was from, you know, their dad as well. We don't want any videoing, we don't want any posting, we don't want any YouTubing, no, you know, Instagram, like nothing. Party. It wasn't that type of party. It was really just a last minute party, the kids having fun. And Jimmy got a little bit offended, but it wasn't meant in an offensive way. It just was meant that we just really didn't want it posted. So for Amanda to be so hurt that she wasn't invited to Olivia's birthday, it just doesn't really make, it didn't make much sense at all. I didn't understand it. Because how do you invite how do you not invite someone to her, but then expect to be invited? And, and it wasn't even... It wasn't, it wasn't about that. It's just like, why would, why would we invite you? Because at that point, no one was really... Everyone at that party was, was not really... It, it was just a couple of friends together is what the party was. It would have been incredibly awkward for Amanda. I, I personally, if I were her, I wouldn't have wanted to be there because... It would have been a lot of people looking at her and wondering why she was there. We really, really, really didn't want to put out a video. We didn't want to respond. When people were asking Ailani, you know, what happened, 
this was prior to Harry's video, I would tell her just ignore it or say a man is your sister, you love her and family is family. We really did not want to go into anything negative. We don't want a comeback. We don't want a response. We don't want a back and forth. We just want this to end. And after Harry's videos, the comments were terrible. They started to end. Then Amanda's video came. They started to end a little bit again. But honestly, but now they just came back. They came back we again. Got tired of we're tired. And Alani especially needs to put out her story because her spirit cannot settle until she says, this is what the real story is. Because there's nothing worse than not even your own family thinking you did something that you didn't do, but think the whole fan base thinking that you did something that you didn't do. It's very uncomfortable, and she's been in a bad space. So this is basically her vindicating her character and letting you all know that this is the true story. This is what happened. No more cyberbullying, guys. No child deserves it. No cyberbullying anyone, for that matter. Same not thing as bullying. Yeah, no bullying. Hopefully this is the beginning of more positive things and look forward for more to come from my lady because she's going to come out of her shell. He said, I'm going to speak to Sherry. Me and Sherry have this conversation. I didn't even know my dad was going to put me on the phone with Sherry. So she's basically saying, oh, Amanda, I'm sorry, but we're both getting played by Eva and Melinda. Um, what they did to me, they purposely got me drunk, and I feel so sad for um, doing what I did to you. But what, it's not even Eva. You need to watch out for Melinda because she, she was the main one talking crap about you. So I'm like, Sherry, I, I have the recording, but it's on Jimmy's phone. So I'm like, Sherry, what, what did they say? I'm not even going to say. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to say what they said about you, right? So after the whole conversation, Jimmy's downstairs. Uh, uh, Jimmy's downstairs. So I'm like, so, okay, what did they say? Oh, I'm not even going to say. You don't even want to hear what they said about you. So I'm like, Sherry, what did they say? Why you can't tell me? I'm going to say what they said about you because I, ha I have proof of what they said. So when I said I have proof, she automatically knew I was recording everything. So after this conversation goes, my dad was like, "Let everybody leave it alone. Don't say nothing to nobody else. He said that to me. He said that to Sherry. So what do he go do? What does she go do? After my dad say leave it alone, she goes to Amanda like, Amanda been recording every single thing. I let her be recording every single thing. So now this is the day later. The, the the night of, my dad said, "Leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Don't say nothing." As me, I ain't never go to nobody. I ain't go to Melinda and say Sherry did this. I never called a soul. It was Sherry Melinda calling back and forth. Sherry goes the next day, and um. She goes the next day and tell Melinda, oh, I was recording her. I don't know the conversation they had, but Mel Melinda sent me a text <laughs> and basically said, I was trying to, I was trying to um, call you to rehash it, but for you to record everything, that's, huh? She's like, uh, I am done with you and your family. Would you open your mouth and, and put yourself in a situation? No, I did not tell Ilani drink spit. Why would I tell her drink spit? So Melinda said, so Melinda's like, I am done with you and your family. So I said, Melinda, it's on this phone, but if I, um, if I, I don't know if, I, if it's going to pause and y'all can hear me. I will, I probably could read it, but I don't know how this works, if it's going to pause. But she basically, I basically, I'm going to put it short. I basically said, none of this would have happened if I was not the topic of discussion. The reason why I recorded everybody, because everybody was basically saying, he said, she said stuff, and I wanted to have proof on both sides of what everybody said. Even with the recording, I, I was saying stuff too, and I don't have nothing to hide, basically. I said, if I wasn't the topic of y'all discussion, I don't understand why, why you would be mad. If, if, if Why are you mad? At the fact that I'm recording, if everything you said was true, isn't everything you saying is true? What happened? You don't want to seem like you were messy. So I guess, I guess when I um, I, I discussion at this point, I'm tired of both uh, all y'all with the he says she says stuff. I shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Why? 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 Like why everything's happening? Why? Y'all may not like me. Go about your way. Why try to dip your eyes? On why me and Sherry wasn't talking. Why, you know what I'm saying? They, uh, Ivani tried to say today, oh, the only thing I said is why Alani's not doing video. And Alani tried to lie and basically say, oh, I did this to her, I did that. If you don't want to do videos, sis, you ain't got to do videos. I don't even do videos my damn self. What bathroom situation? Oh, now, that bathroom situation.
I already explained this. The bathroom situation. This was Christmas. Mind you, Ailani and I have not spoken in a couple weeks. This is after Ailani told me. This is after I told Sherry I'm, do I'm done with Ailani and her BS. I washed my hands. Sherry did not like that. Ailani told me uh, she don't she don't need me to buy her crabs don't even worry about spending nothing on her she she don't want it and this and that blase 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 so i'm like all right you, you you told me not to buy you anything but she came on christmas and i was shocked myself if i would have known she would have came to my house i would have got her something so when she came she was like um ilani wanted to come like, oh, oh for real i didn't have like mind you we, we was not talking i didn't make it a big deal i'm like oh now i feel bad because i didn't buy her anything because honestly i didn't think ilani would get her act right or i don't know if she came to my house thinking she got something in the first place so when she came to my house sherry told me um she um ilani wanted to come and stuff like that i felt bad and all i had ilani 200 i gave janelle 100 i gave my other her cousin 100 right the lie where Sherry's talking about I didn't let her go upstairs, there's even, I don't know if Janelle had Musical.ly and stuff, they recorded upstairs. Ailani's room is upstairs. So where would I have told Ailani not to go upstairs? It's the tantrum, the disrespect, I'm not having it. So that's the phone situation. He's right here, he's sleeping. Like, y'all could, could say what y'all want to say, but listen, at this point, where I'm mad at, um, I'm not really mad at them, but what is fucked up is the idea, they try to give Sherry the idea to sue me for child labor, man. That's what they tried to do. Basically saying, oh, Ailani, Ailani, um... I, I, don't, I don't give Ailani none of her stuff. All her stuff here. If I was that green, I could have sold all her stuff. All the girl's stuff here, I could have gave everything away. You know what I'm saying? All it's doing is collecting dust. With the whole house situation, with Sherry, what she basically tried to do, she tried to make us... Let me tell you something. Sherry, she was our... Our realtor. If we was hiding how much money we made, we would have found a different realtor. I already said that before. What Sherry tried to do, she tried to make us get the most expensive house. The house I was opting for, I was um going for was half prices is just as big. It was a six bedroom, but three thousand. But she was giving us the the impression that oh the owner might not like us because of Jimmy troubled past. It's best if you get this house. So what do I do? I go and get this house. And she's basically saying I'm not the one who. Yes, you did, sis. The Eva situation It's nothing big They cannot like me I don't care if they don't like me and stuff But to try to put yourself in like my, my family issues And then try to persuade somebody To sue me for child labor Both of them Both of them I would never respect them you get what I'm saying? Because like she was saying on the phone today, after all this time she didn't speak to me. She tried to she tried to make sure I didn't expose her for what she did. Oh, what did I do to you to expose you? Sis, you just walked in my house a month ago. You ain't say shit. But basically, you you said Sherry owe me loyalty. It's not my fault Sherry did what she did to me. All right, what about the loyalty with your brother in law? What about what about what about the loyalty to your brother in law? You didn't think about you didn't think about your 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 nephew because that's what you ain't come to my house to see me. You came to your, my house to see your nephew. You didn't think about that, huh? And that's where I'm like upset because I would never, you know what I'm saying? I would never hurt nobody pockets like that. I would never I would never say such a thing to anybody. Actually, but I'm out, guys.